Once you have purchased a Kiva Solo Professional, you should check that you are logged in to the kivabackup.com websites and then go to the download section. Here we can see the link to the latest version of Akiva Solo, so click to download it to your computer. The Akiva Solo Professional Program comes as a zip file and we need to extract that. On most operating systems, you can do that simply by double clicking on the file name. We can see we now have a new folder with all the files in. We now need to transfer these files to our web server and to do that we will use a FTP program. I am going to use FileZilla but you can use any FTP program that you like. To begin with connect to your server. Once connected make sure you're in the public HTML or the web root of your site. Now create a new folder in which to install Akiva Solo. Right click to create the new folder. I am going to use Solo 3272 to slightly randomise the name. When that has been done we now need to upload the files from our computer. Once all the files have been uploaded we can go to our website slash folder name which in my case is akibademo.com forward slash solo 3272. We are now at the Akiba Solo installer. The installer is a very simple process. This first begins with the required server settings. As you can see they are all set to yes. If any are set to no you won't be able to proceed and you probably need to speak to your web host to rectify the errors. Now click next to continue. Here we set up the database for Akiba Solo. Enter the database server host name. This is usually localhost, followed by the username and password for your database. And finally, the database name. You will need it to have created the database before you run this installer. The installer cannot create the database. You can select a database table name prefix, but I'm going to leave it at the default of Solo and click Submit. We are now ready to configure the application. Here we can set our time zone, the URL to Solo itself, a session timeout and which file system you are driving. I can leave all of these at default. Finally, a keyboard Solo is protected by a login so we need to create a username and password. I'm going to leave the username as admin, enter my password, repeat that and enter my email address. And finally enter my full name that will be displayed on the screen and click submit. Akiba Solo has now been set up. We now need to tell Akiba Solo which website it is that we want to actually back up. Akiba Solo has detected that there is a website in existence at the root of this, this installation, akibademo.com. If that's the site you wish to install, you can leave it as it is. It's also detected the site root. If I click Auto Detect, Akiba Solo will now attempt to work out what type of script it is. And make the settings below accordingly. We can scroll down and we can see that it has completed the MySQL driver, the server host name, the username, the password, the database name and the prefix all from the phpbb website that I have at that address. If it, if it has detected any of these incorrectly you can always edit them. Finally it's asking what type of script it is and it's determined that this is PHP B3. If it wasn't we can choose one of the th these options. And finally the which type of embedded restoration script or ANGIE that will be included in the backup. Again it has detected the one for PHP B3 but it could have detected any of these or even no installer at all. Click Submit. 
Kiva Solo is now testing your server and calculating the best settings for your backups. It is important that you remain on the screen until the wizard has completed. Once the wizard has completed, you're ready to complete your first backup. Let us go ahead and do that right now. You can see a warning message here that we are using the default directory for backups. This is no perfectly normal and unless you change the directory in the configuration, this message will appear. As we can see, a Kiva backup will store some information each time we make a backup. By default, it creates a description of the backup stating the time and date that it was taken. And you can optionally include an additional comment, perhaps stating that you are doing this backup before updating your website. You can also add a password to protect the Angie installer embedded in the backup. For now, I'm going to leave them both blank and just click Backup Now. The backup process has now started. It is important that you do not browse to any other page until the backup has completed. Once the backup has completed, you should click here on Manage Backups. Here we can see the backup has taken place with its description, a status of OK, the size of the backup and a link to the actual backup file itself. Depending on your configuration, this may be multiple parts. A backup kept on your website is as useful as a set of spare keys stored inside your house, so it is important you download the backup from your website to your own computer. You can do this simply by clicking the link and confirming. Once you have downloaded the backup, you can, if you want, delete the backup file from your website. Perhaps you are short of space on your hosting account. You can do this by selecting the backup here and then clicking Delete Files. You will see there is another option called Delete. This will delete the complete record that a backup took place. I prefer to keep that record and will just click Delete Files. We can see now that the record is still here but the backup file itself has gone. We have now created our first backup with a Kiva Solo Professional. Right at the top we have a message about entering our download ID. This is required for updates to the program, so let's go ahead and fix that. Return to the akibabackup.com website, make sure you are logged in and select My Subscriptions from the menu. If you scroll down you will see your download ID. Simply select and copy it. Return to your website and scroll to the bottom of the screen. And select System Configuration. Select the Update tab and paste your ID in the Download ID field and Save and Close. We can see that the message has now disappeared and we have successfully installed a Kiba Solo Professional. 